Good morning, everybody. It's about time to begin. It's uh, 10.30. Uh, the fact that there are people here at all means the beer event must have gone well. No explosions, no incidents. I hear the power went out a couple of times. Uh, we hope to do better at FOSDEM. So, uh, welcome everybody to FOSDEM 2014. You are probably wondering, this is the uh, 14th time we do this conference and the I forgot how many at time I'm giving this opening talk. You're wondering, have I got anything new to tell you? Or failing that something interesting? Uh, it turns out that I do. The uh, network this year, we are proud to announce, is IPv6 only by default. Uh, so if you are using the internet and you're using ESSID FOSDEM, uh, you are on an IPv6 only internet. There is no legacy IPv4 connectivity. Uh, I think we're the um, first events of this magnitude who are doing this by default. Uh, RIPE and IETF have been doing that for years. I think it's time to uh, do this at a developer event. Many things will probably break. Uh, we know that Android does not like uh, living in an IPv6 only internet. You are all developers. We are all developers. Uh, we're counting on you to hopefully be confronted by this bugs, these bugs, be annoyed by them sufficiently to fix them. Uh, if something breaks, please fix it. So I'm not going to go into too much technical detail about this because we'll be here all day. But basically this means that uh, if you have a Linux or a Mac or a reasonably modern anything operating system, everything should just work. We have uh, a lying DNS server in place for translating uh, connectivity to legacy internet hosts and everything else, it'll just work. If it breaks, fix it. Uh, having said that, um, if this catches fire, we will uh, revert to a dual stack network uh, as in previous years. We hope not to do that. If you find bugs which are not trivial to fix, which you can't fix in five minutes or ten minutes or the duration of this conference, you can switch back to the uh, dual stack network, which has the same legacy IPv4 connectivity as previous years. Uh, we hope that you then go off home and uh, fix your bugs over there. Uh, should we have to revert, we also have the uh, V6 network, which will be V6 only uh, all weekends uh, without any uh, plans for transition measures or any of that. So please fix bugs, that's what you're here for, we're all developers. Um, this uh, venue, uh, I pointed out every year, we don't own these buildings, we don't live here. I don't think any of the current FOSDEM team even works here. Uh, we borrow these buildings from the Université Libre de Bruxelles, which is one of the many universities in Brussels. We would like to thank them again uh, for letting us borrow their buildings. Uh, please try to leave them in the same state you find them. Uh, in particular, every year we have issues with glass uh, pointed out to us after the conference. If you have glass bottles, please do not put them in the trash bags. There are cardboard boxes near the trash bags. Put the bottles in the boxes. If you find that a trash bag is full or the box with bottles is full, point it out to a brightly colored volunteer and it will be fixed at some point, hopefully quickly. So thank you again, ULB, for letting us borrow these buildings. The conference then. Uh, we are bigger again. We have, uh, I pulled this out of Pentabarf this morning, we have 308 hours of content. There are 48 hours technically in a weekend of which we are here, maybe, I don't know, 20. Um, that's a lot of content. Uh, we have 508 speakers, uh, so I'm going to wrap up really quickly because the 507 other speakers are much more interesting than I am. Uh, we are in many uh, buildings, uh, but first of all, this content, we are recording everything this year. Uh, in previous years, we only recorded the main tracks, thank you. Thank you. In previous years, we only recorded the main tracks. This year, uh, we decided to go crazy. We are recording everything. Currently everything, except for the Java developer room, there is a communication problem there. <laughs> um, there will be a conversation, and with a bit of luck, that will also be recorded. But uh, it turns out that recording uh, 22 rooms in parallel uh, requires a fair bit of manpower. Uh, which we have mostly been able to find, but if there is anyone in the audience or anywhere uh, listening in uh, who has any experience operating a camera, I told you just point it at things and keep it in focus, or uh, audio mixers and all that, if you have any experience with that or you feel that uh, the network is too broken for you to enjoy, uh, talk to the video team. I don't see Wouter anywhere, but he's a very tall hat, uh, tall man in the hat, underneath the hat. Uh, talk to him, bright green t-shirt, uh, offer your services, 
and uh, hopefully all the recordings will be online soon after the conference, but we can't promise anything yet. They'll be online soon. Having said that, uh, every year uh, rooms do get full. Uh, the buildings are the same size on the inside as on the outside. We can't change that. Um, so you'll find these signs. We'd like you to respect them. And because we're recording everything, it's no drama. You can go home and watch the talks later. And maybe if you're sitting in another developer room listening to a talk you hadn't intended on attending, you can uh, maybe be inspired and fix other project bugs or join a new project. And the open source community will benefit from this. So please, if it's full, go to another room and watch the recording online later. And if it takes too long for the recording to materialize, hustle the video team. Good. Uh, buildings. We are in all of these buildings. Um, there are maps in the booklet as well. The main info desk is in the K building, which is the one just northeast of here, the newer building. Uh, we sell t-shirts there and they take uh, credit cards and cash and they can answer any questions. We also have a secondary info desk here in the H building, uh, where we also have a first aid stand in case something happens, please don't let anything happen. Uh, they also sell t-shirts, but they only take cash. We can't take uh, credit cards there. Uh, other than that, in this gigantic room and in the big room, almost as big as this in the K building, is where we put keynotes. And everything else is developer rooms. H building, developer rooms, AW room, developer rooms. We try to put the developer rooms together roughly by theme. So all the languages are in the K building, all the databasey things are in the U building, and all the cross anything, cross desktop, cross distro, cross whatever, are in the H building. Uh, so you should not have to walk around in the rain too much, or if you do, well, it's your choice. Um, Yes, food. We have lots of food this year. Um, we have seven food vans in the uh, food court, or six, depending how you count. I lost count. Uh, there, where they were last year, in front of the U building, in front of the F building. In the F building, uh, which is between the K building and the U building, there's also a bar which serves fresh coffee. It's strong, it's good. It's excellent. Uh, like last year, there's also a bar up here, but it gets noisy and the noise carries in here. So if that gets full, please walk in the rain to the uh, food court and get your coffee caffeine fix over there. It's better for everyone. Uh, I don't think there's much more I want to say about this because the uh, booklet has everything you need to know. It's doubled in size since last year. Thanks to the DevRoom organizers, all 20-something of them. We have all the abstracts for the DevRoom talks in the booklet too this year. And we just went through and added lots of information. So if you need to know anything, we have thousands of these. Get them. They don't run out of battery. They don't need IPv6. They don't need IPv4. Just get them and enjoy. Other than that, uh, last but definitely not least, all this recording stuff and just this is fantastically expensive. And these people are paying for it. Um, I, I got a very amusing email from one of our faithful sponsors this year saying, you know, many other conferences we get these glossy brochures saying what you can advertise and what benefit sponsors get. And from you, we get this dry prose telling us what you can't do. Uh, at Fosden, we don't inundate you with advertising. Uh, these sponsors basically uh, give us these funds from the goodness of their hearts to support open source software. They are wonderful. Next time you need any of the services they provide, uh, please do uh, consider these wonderful companies. Uh, they are here. And basically, that's all I'm going to say. I promise to keep it in about 10 minutes, which uh, we are 9 minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, I have nothing further to say. You have about 10, 15 minutes to find a dev room and go and have fun. After me, there is one of our first keynotes. I don't know who it is. The booklet can tell you. Uh, thank you, everyone, for attending FOSDEM 2014. Let's make this a success. Fix some bugs. Thank you.